efficiency is not the point of life right we're not here to just get through it as fast as possible without with as few inconveniences as possible right that's not what motivates people and that's not why people get up in the morning so the fact that like things break is actually i have to remind myself myself every time that happens like oh this is good because like my son needs to experience frustration we need this is like mental training you know and so do i my name is adriana and i'm in the bronx in new york city in the epicenter of this outbreak in our country. My profession is I'm a professor at Parsons School of Design and I also teach at School of Visual Arts and I also do freelance design research. And I have a child <laughs> who's six years old. We as New Yorkers and many people who live in cities, we just spend most of our time actually outside engaging and almost barely being home, right? So it's the real, it's, it's almost like a, um, the exact inverse of our life. And so the first part was just not being afraid of being home. You know, it sounds kind of ridiculous. And also not being afraid of being home alone with my child. You know, you, I feel like as a parent, you're always straddling different time frames. You're thinking about what's happening in the present and what is my child gonna remember about this time? Like, how is it gonna impact them? And so I thought, wouldn't it be, what are some like the positive imprints that I can make in this time? So the first thing was I got a sewing machine and we started making masks. Rui was actually, my son Rui was one of the first kids to wear a mask outside. And so he would speak, see our neighbors and then he would say, we're making them, do you want one? Do you want flamingos or sloths? Because <laughs> those were the, only the two patterns we had. So I think experience as a designer and researcher helps so much because you're like okay what's happening right now what are the different material artifacts and activities that can shape behavior change and perception at this time so we um my son is really into different kinds of performances like clowns and mimes and we started make recreating the shows that we would see like a lot of the stuff from the 70s that was on the set and was on Sesame Street or the Muppet Show. So just letting, allowing ourselves to go down this rabbit hole of kind of extreme making.